Hello everyone, so in this lesson we have a 5 kilogram object that is going to be accelerated from 7 meters per second to 20 meters per second within 25 meters along a rough horizontal path with 4 newtons of friction. Determine the applied force acting on the object. Okay, so we've got this object and there's some type of force acting to the right. Let's just pretend it's going to the right. It's a 5 kilogram object. There is friction which is 4 newtons. And we need to try work out what this force is. So we know that when they're talking about velocity and things like that, we're going to be using the work energy theorem. By the way, this is super important. The work energy theorem is the same as using what we did in grade 11. In grade 11, you would typically use F net equals MA, and then you would use this formula over here, both of which are on your formula sheet. That's your equations of motion. These two combined is the same as just using that one. So you are allowed to use your grade 11 formulas, only keep, just keep in mind that you must use this one if they say make use of the work energy theorem. If they don't say that, then you can use your grade 11 formulas, these ones over here. Keep in mind that these formulas only work on straight lines, meaning like this, or on a slope or like that. In later videos, we're gonna start looking at curved surfaces and then you can't use this and you also can't use this. So what's interesting about this question is that they've given us information about the velocity at the beginning and at the end, and we have the mass. And so we could technically work out this entire part. So we could say that the change in EK is a half MV squared final minus a half MV squared initial. And so that's just going to be a half. Your mass is 5. Your final velocity is 20. Please remember the square. A lot of people forget that. Then your initial mass is obviously also 5. And your initial velocity is 7 squared. And so if you go work that out, you end up with 877.5. Now kinetic energy is joules. So now we have this part. Now we know that W net is equal to F net times by delta X times by cos theta. So there's so many different ways of doing this, and so I always have to be careful that I'm not confusing anyone, but there are various ways you can do this. So now, we know that, for example, let me show you one technique. Let's say we know, so we know this over here, we know W net is equal to F net change in X cos theta, and we know that that's equal to the change in EK, which is 887.5. And so we could leave F net as it is if we want to. The distance is going to be 25 meters, and F net. So because this object is going from 7 to 20, F net's obviously going to be moving in the same direction as the motion, otherwise the object would slow down. And so that's going to be cos of 0. And so you could work out F net by simply saying 877.5 divided by 25 times cos 0. And therefore F net is going to be 35.1 newtons, and that's acting to the right. Now that's not the final answer. The, the question says determine the applied force. F net is the total. So F net, if we chose right as positive, is equal to the applied force minus your force of friction. Because applied force is this way, friction is that way. So we can then say that 35.1, which is F net, is equal to the applied force minus your friction, which is 4 newtons. And so if you take the applied, I mean the 4 newtons over, you'll end up with an applied force of 39.1 newtons. 